Hello everyone, I'm Zhang Xi, and now let's experience JBG2 visit to Europe through this vlog. On the first day, we fly from Beijing to Milan at midnight, and when we wake up at 5 a.m., we are already in Italy. And look at the sunrise, it's so beautiful. Roads in the city are filled with tram tracks, and we first arrive at the hotel and check in. Then go to the Tianhua China Italy hub by taxi. The buildings here are so special, and the balcony is the key. If I were to describe Italy as a person, they would be someone who loves dope me and vintage clothing. And there are all kinds of graffiti. Classical architecture can be seen everywhere. Then we arrive at the Design Innovation Hub. There are some drawings by architecture students about streets in Milan. We attend the opening ceremony of the conference held by Tsinghua University, listen to academic reports, and coffee break, what the decade deserved. After the conference, we have a city walk in Milan. The trams are different. What a vintage trolley you see. I thought it was a model. Grassy tracks, flower shop, and the needle thread knot sculpture on the street. And also, the spaghetti. Then we are off to the Milan Cathedral. And I was struck by how the sun shines on it. Photo time with my friend JBG student Bender, and I see many pigeons flying over the square. And playing with them is universal, I think. I see a group of here Krishna dancing and chanting, and also an amazing street dancer. Oh. Then we find a nice spot to take photo with the cathedral in the museum. The cathedral is quite romantic in the night. On the second day, we go to the hub and present the cultural performance with Ma Mianqin, four panel skirt. It's a traditional Chinese dress which is just suited for women who plan to go horseback riding in ancient time. We even teach the school principal and foreign guests here how to dance with the Chinese fan. And as I said, next time you can show off to your friends. Everyone is laughing and the atmosphere is great. So I decided to go to the Milan Cathedral wearing Ma Mianqin in the afternoon. We climbed for a long time in the narrow staircase and finally, it's breathtaking. You can see elves in the distance. Its construction began in 1386 and took five centuries to complete. Each spire has a statue of God on it. On the highest bear is a gilded statue of the Virgin Mary. And on the other side, the cathedral also looks gold-plated in the sunset. Wow, you see. And I found an arcade where the Mian Qing and architecture perfectly match the sunlight. And I have a group photo with Professor Dunham. It's so pretty up there, which makes me reluctant to go down. But inside the cathedral, there are some religious rituals and beautiful stained glass everywhere. And the height of the nave is about 45 meters, which makes you feel small compared to God. And then we go window shopping at Italy's oldest shopping gallery, just next to the cathedral. And I wear my main chain in front of the door. And we taste Italian ice cream gelato and have dinner in a local restaurant. I find a meme on the mirror opposite the dining table saying girls group selfie. So let's take a selfie. I have Italian dumplings, racatoni, and on the third day we go to Strada's castle. They say in the castle there were works by Da Vinci and Michelangelo, but it was closed that day. I wear my mansion and some foreign boys want to take a picture with me, and I also record some videos for the Students Film Association. The sunlight is just right, but we are leaving Milan. And at the airport mall, many foreigners are wowed by Ma Mianqin. After arriving at Belgium, Professor Dunham takes us to Chez Leon for dinner. And Belgium is famous for mussels and chips. And it's really a nice meal. And group photo again. Ciao! Remember to subscribe for the next episode in Belgium, Brussels.